My name is Ellen Levy. I'm an, born and bred in New York um, and have known of Darcy Thompson's on Growth and Form since I was in high school. But little did I realize what an important figure he and on Growth and Form would become over many years. Great. So obviously this is not your first time in Dundee. Tell us about uh, how you first came to come here. Well, I was here as a visiting artist in 2014, but I came because I was already quite aware of the collection and had done a fair amount of work as an artist and documenting other collections. Um, I had attended a symposium that Asimina Canary had organized, and then after that there was another one in the Netherlands um, but what is different is that in the intervening years, I did a lot of research, which resulted in not only my co-editing a book with Carissa Terranova, but my writing a chapter in it, um, and then after that, curating a show. So at this point, I bring some... Uh, knowledge that I didn't have before that was generated by those projects, including this one. Yeah, great. So obviously for this exhibition you're, you're inspired by the collection, but you're also kind of relating that to two key figures of 20th century culture. Yes, and, and I see more and more the aptness. I mean, in a way it's very uh, logical that Richard Hamilton would be one of the artists, given that he himself was so taken by the collection that he curated a show of the, the independent group. But um, I realized the aptness of selecting J.G. Ballard, because if you think in a way of the crystal, or I do, as a key form of that period, and for all it symbolizes, and the harmony of proportions and everything, it makes a lot of sense that there would be a dystopian backlash in the form of um, some of the negative aspects of transparency and, and so forth, which Ballard really gets at. It's a dystopian, surrealist vision. But the crystal itself is a sort of suspended state between the living and inert, mm. um, also gets amplified in that way. Mm. So for visitors coming to view this, obviously they can see part of the display here in the Tarafoy Gallery and part in the Zoology Museum. Just want to briefly say a bit about what they can see in each place? Well, here they'll see a kind of constructivist vision um, where materials are both real and illusionist. Uh, and the colors and choices are chosen in part from me, but in part my interpretation of Hamilton's pop artwork. And the, but the work in the other section, in the museum, is it is thematically about the architecture being invaded by forces that it doesn't yet know how to reckon with.